Aloha! Welcome to the Master of the Jungle Show. Today is Tuesday. It is Cosmic Moon Day 23. We're almost at the end of the year, the 28th. And we are to engage the root chakra today. The best way I've found to do this physiologically is actually what I call the yoga shake or it's a knee gyration. Let me show it to you. So it's it's moving the knee back and forth like this, kind of in a crouch. As you can see the knee is moving back and forth. And this wobbles the head a little bit, allowing that energy to start from where it comes from, the earth, where all of our fruits and vegetables are grown, ah, where the deep breath that we are allowed is produced by the oxygen generating trees, who are good examples, standing strong and expanding upwards and out. All right, let's start off the day in the now and try to define flow and contrast like good and bad or challenges try to define God or and light and souls and giving thanks and blessings and praying and improving and coordinating our circumstances. Let's define all of these words. <laughs> I am joking. I don't know if philosophy can define these words. You know how I define philosophy? T-H-A-T. That. <laughs> because we're in the now. And we're giving light, shining through, directing it, and thanking, and blessing, and allowing for flow, and being souls. I don't even know the definition of the soul. I do know I'm a light messenger, and that I can let it channel through me, and imagine these other bodies of water, in other words, people, but they are localized. Their souls are in these bodies. And that's what makes human vessels different than trees. But the tree can have energy in it. It's got, it's got the vibrations in it. And so does the environment. And that's why I do my favorite 360 perimeter light view, light showing where I shine and I always start off at water sources if I know there's a water tower nearby I start off shining light through that tower and so that's what we got we got an example for you I used to say uh, why does my uncle drink now the only option I have is the language of light and imagining my uncle shining and instead of imagining him drinking and perpetuating the problem yep I'd like to pose one final question to you before sending you to the link below which is an in-depth explanation of how the light works and and how to shine it here's the question what do I need for one month of no sun considering that I should have food water and shelter from whatever it is radiation or we're talking 2012 my brother or sister we're talking planet X extraterrestrials intelligent life 
and keeping in mind that as we do these different meditations and allow for the light it increases our own vibration of our area and body so that we can see other beings like perhaps the Pleiadians or the Syrians or you know intelligent life who did all these crop circles what's going on <laughs> we're light messengers so enjoy the video below to Im improve your own ability to give light and love it make the vow by the way click the video below Woo!